Well, what a great day, and uh, football recruiting has certainly changed. Uh, we think the early signing period has been a, a great addition uh, that the college football coaches have embraced. Everybody handles it differently. Our goal at the beginning of the year was to sit out and probably assign between 23 and 24 guys. That number may increase up to 24 to 25, depending on some attrition. And so we, uh, we set a couple benchmarks. Uh, recruiting cycles uh, started uh, certainly actually right after signing date. And uh, so a couple people that I think are really important to acknowledge uh, in this class. Uh, first of all, our director of recruiting, Justin Mason, who's going to come up and add some comments. And then Ian McGrew, who works in our recruiting office. Also want to say thanks to our assistant coaches who labored really hard and uh, their, uh, their wives, uh, spouses, who you know, kept the homes fire burning when all these coaches are gone for a great deal of uh, time. But we're really excited about this class. Uh, 18 players is about where we wanted to be. Um, sometimes you try to hit a mark one way or the other. I think if any coach says that they signed everybody they wanted to, uh, they would be less than honest and probably could maybe move to Washington, D.C. Um, you know, we, uh, bang, bang. Um, <laughs> You know, we, we really set a, a, a couple targets out, which you'll, you'll look at the class and you'll see it's, it's fairly uh, um, evenly divided between offense and defense. I think it's, uh, it's important for us to recognize that uh, there are some needs that we have, but we're certainly in a different place than where we were five years ago. We're just trying to, to uh, make as many uh, uh, hits as we could. There are certainly some areas where we still need to find a couple players, but uh, what we've always felt like, it's always better to uh, want something that you don't have than to have something that you don't want. And so we have, a, we have a, a line where we talk about when a guy's above the line, and we certainly have gone out and recruited those guys. So uh, we're certainly excited about this class. What I'm going to do is turn it over to uh, Justin. He's going to go through the class, and I'm going to come up after he uh, uh, goes through the class, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Justin. So Justin, come on up. Well, I think we should go ahead and get started with the big guys up front on the offensive side of the football. And we'll start out with the Trail Bible. The Trail Bible is from Washburn, um, Minnesota. Uh, he's a big, big boy now. What we initially liked about him when Coach Vegan saw him out in the spring and identified him early uh, was his ability to come off the ball with quicks. Uh, he's a strong young man, uh, powerful plays with a great motor, played both ways, was definitely a leader on the team, came on his official visit with his coach, and his coach just raved about the type of kid that he was. We saw his leadership capabilities and really feel comfortable with him being one of the leaders uh, on our offensive line for years to come. So uh, that's Latrell Bible. Next guy we'll, we'll, we'll turn to is the tackle from, from Texas, Capel, Texas. I hope I got that right, Coach Beth. Well, Sean, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, Jack is a big human being. Uh, really, really long arms, uh, kind of the prototypical tackle, what you're looking for, really, really athletic. Again, tough, physical, aggressive. Uh, he stood, his tape stood out in his ability to get to the second level, especially on the backside of blocks. Uh, just recently came on his official visit with his dad. What was huge for him in recruiting was gonna be fit. And that's something that we look for in, in all our guys, especially here in Laramie, Wyoming, is which guys are going to fit and be able to go through this process for four to five years. And so at the end of his visit, uh, something that he expressed to us was this was the right fit for him. So we're really excited. Exceptional student, uh, intelligent man. So again, a good leader for years to come on that offensive line. Next individual is going to be Carlos Har Harrison, excuse me, from Carlsbad in San Diego area in California. Uh, this is a, a good example of a young man being identified uh, as a prospect and continuing to get better throughout his senior year. Uh, again, another large individual who moves really, really well in space, and that's what caught the, uh, the eye of Coach Cooper and of Coach Fuchs as we continued to watch him through his senior year. And another guy that was on a visit this past weekend, uh, really enjoyed being around him, uh, light personality, uh, and again, the athleticism for this young man has stood out. So. Those are three really, really uh, uh, interesting and, and exciting guys that we're going to add to our offensive line uh, this upcoming year. The next, we'll move to the wide receiver class. 
Devin Jennings is the first from Channel View High School in Houston, Texas. Uh, Devin is more of a prototypical Z wide receiver in the two back in a two back system, which is going to fit really really well for Coach Vegan and our offensive system moving forward. Uh, he's a he's a guy that we identified early. Coach Grant saw him in the spring, uh, liked what he saw athletically, uh, and he continued to progress throughout his senior year. Uh, what you can tell as you watch the film is that this guy actually has a really good foundation of tools. And you see how he knows how to work against press. And the more and more that we watch him, the ability to go up and make plays, as you just saw, uh, make contested catches, which is always something that we're looking for in our wide receivers, uh, started to show up a little bit more and more outside of those tools that he had. So really excited about that. Next wide receiver is Alex Brown. Alex Brown is from Klein, Klein, excuse me, from Klein Collins, again, down in the Houston area. Uh, really long guy. Now this guy probably out of anybody that we watched this year has exceptional hands. He, this guy catches the ball really, really naturally. He has the ability to stretch the field. Uh, again, another guy that can go up and make contested catches. Um, and so, but again, I'm gonna go back to this guy and say that his ability to catch the football naturally is what really stood out to us uh, and it stands out on the film above a lot of people that we watch at the wide receiver position. Next guy is Isaiah Nair from Lamar High School in Arlington, <coughs> Texas. He's got a little trio of uh, the wide receivers from down in Texas. Um, and this guy, I'll, I'm gonna give Coach Bath a lot of credit. He identified him at a camp down in Texas in the summer. A really, really good looking size. Ran a 4 5 40 at the camp. Um, and as, so as we, as we continue to watch him throughout his senior year, he really, out of everybody else that we watched this year, got better his senior year. And you can see on the film here is his ability to go up again, to go up and make contested catches uh, when people are you know, on his hip or on his back. Um, he has great body control. And again, the size and speed ratio is something that's very unique. Really an under the radar guy, and we're excited to have him and really, really lucky to have him. We'll move over to the, the H back position type guys. Trayton Welch is the first guy up. He's from Buffalo, Minnesota. This is a guy that Coach Vegan identified really early in the process coming into his senior year. Uh, we knew that this was a guy that we might want to really pull the trigger on quickly. Uh, he shows up, he makes plays, uh, has a great ability to run, has good body control. Again, another guy that catches the ball really, really well. We watched his first two games and knew that this was a guy that we had to have. Comes from a really good family. Uh, you know, one of the best players in Minnesota. And uh, we're really excited and lucky to have him there. Next guy up is Mr. Wyoming, Parker Christensen. And so every year we're going to identify the best guy in Wyoming and take him. And this is the guy that Coach Hazelton identified going into his senior year. Uh, we knew Parker was the guy that we wanted. We wanted to test him a little bit in camp and see what he was made of. He came to camp, ran really well, uh, moved around in the drills really well. We put him on the offensive side of the ball, tested him, again, in one-on-ones and in seven-on-seven -seven situations, and he performed really well. So before the, before the end of the camp, we knew that this was our guy, and uh, he committed really early on in the process. Solid family, exceptional student, and we're looking for this guy to be a cornerstone of our leadership of our uh, program for years to come. We'll move over to the defensive side of the ball now with the defensive ends. And the first guy we'll talk about is Devon Harris from Big Lake, Minnesota. Again, a guy that we identified really early in the process. Coach Vegan doing a really good job out there. Uh, this guy has really good length. The most exceptional thing that he does is come off the ball with speed and quickness. And so he is, he, he is gonna be our pass rusher. And so quarterbacks are gonna have to be what, looking out for this guy and finding out where he's lining up. And, Offensive coordinators are going to have to account for where this guy is at. He's a really good athlete. He'll line up on the offensive side of the ball. He has good body control. He's got good hands. And so he's just one of those athletic defensive ends, long athletic defensive ends that we've seen here for the past four years that have done a really good job and been really productive here for the Cowboys on the defensive side of the ball. Next guy is Jalen Pate from Chicago, Illinois, Lane Tech uh, Institute there. This is a guy that we're going to give a lot of credit to Coach Dicker. Uh, he wasn't on our radar uh, in the beginning, kind of flew under the radar. And um, Coach Digger continuing to recruit and dig 
uh, uh, discovered him in a bye week, uh, got in to the school, developed a relationship with the young man, uh, developed a relationship with, with, with his parents. Uh, he came out on a visit during the season, liked what we had to offer. He's an intelligent young man, comes from a good family, plays with aggressiveness, plays with physicality, comes off the ball well, runs well, chases the ball well, has a really good motor. And, and actually for him, we challenged him to improve in a few things during the year and we saw that. And so being coachable is something that we look for as well. And so he's, he's been able to show us that he's capable of that and we're really excited to have him to the team. Next guy is gonna be the defensive tackle, Naftali Moimoy, big NAF. He's a yes coach, no coach kind of guy. Big credit to, to Coach Hal here. This guy didn't have a lot of snaps going into his junior year. He missed junior year with an injury. Coach Hal saw him in the spring and identified him as a potential guy. And so we, you know, hey, Coach Hal, where's, where's his junior year film? And there was not much, but you turn on his senior year film and you see him being dominant. Gets out of the stance really well, strong hands, uh, aggressive, quick and explosive out of the stance. Uh, comes from a great family and again, not a lot of film on this guy, but he's going to be dominant. He's going to be a disruptive force on the inside for us, so that's Naf. Move over to the secondary now. We, before we start talking about the secondary, um, you've seen some guys be really, really productive here. And so we target our secondary. This guy's got to be intelligent, smart football players. And this is what this guy is, Keontae Glinton. He's, in addition to his athleticism, this guy is a sharp, intelligent football player. And so we identified him at a camp in the Northwest moved around really well, ran a good time. Coach Dicker saw him in person and knew exactly that this was the guy that we needed. Had him in during his official visit, answered the questions well, was attentive, and we know that this is a guy that's gonna be able to come in. And, and uh, I don't know if those two guys that are leaving us can be replaced, but we're optimistic that this is one of the guys that can do that with his athleticism and his intelligence. The next guy is Jerome Cooper. This is a guy that was identified by Coach Richardson in the spring. Uh, an under the radar guy, comes from Lock High School in, in Los Angeles. This is a program that's had a council football two years in the, in the recent past because of numbers, but he stuck it out. He's one of those guys that didn't transfer to a bigger school, and, and we kind of like that. Anyways, we saw him at a camp down in Southern California. I thought his athleticism was exceptional. Uh, it was a guy that we wanted to target, we stayed on. We saw him in person. Coach Richardson developed the relationship, and a guy that really he flew under the radar, he's gonna be your, you know, your no-star kind of guy, but we are fired up about this guy. You see the physicality on tape, you see the suddenness, he's got great ball skills, plays both ways, and he's a leader for his team that actually went to the state regionals in California, so.